everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Misty Beanie, which you can see here in the photo, as well as if you head on over to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, uh, which the direct link is there in the description of this video, you will find the free written instructions for this pattern, as well as uh, some more photos of this hat. So this is the Misty Beanie here. It is a heavily textured, uh, easy crochet hat made with a bulky weight yarn. And the bulky weight yarn I'm using in this video and used in the sample hat there is the Karen Swirl Cakes by Yarnspirations, the new lovely layers. I'm going to be working with the color cookies and cream. So uh, this uh, hat, as you can see, it is worked from the bottom up to the top. It looks great either without a pom-pom or with a pom-pom. Uh, you can choose. And uh, it's just a great cozy hat. It is a snug fitting hat. There is no slouch to this pattern. You're also along with uh, half of a Karen cake. So uh, with about um, 125, 130 yards of your bulky white yarn, as well as um, a crochet hook. And I'm going to be using an eight millimeter crochet hook. Links for both of these items can be found in the description of this video. I've already mentioned the free pattern can be found on my blog at Rich Textures Crochet dot com and there are options there if you would like to purchase a pdf as well so thank you so much for joining me and uh while you're here don't forget to subscribe let's grab our hooks and our yarn and get started on this misty beanie together as i mentioned at the beginning this hat is worked from the bottom up up so we're starting to work at the brim and the brim of the hat is worked in rows so you're going to start by making your slip knot and work a foundation chain of nine stitches. Once you have your nine stitches, you're going to begin by working a slip stitch into the second chain from your hook and in each stitch all the way across. Now, um, there are many of you out there who do not like working a slip stitch brim, and I do not hold that against you. Uh, so an alternative to working a slip stitch, if you would prefer, you can work a single crochet or a half double crochet uh, for your brim. So you would start instead by working a single crochet or a half double crochet into the second chain from your hook. So stitch, uh, slip stitch, I'm going to be slip stitching all the way across. When you come to the end of that row, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to slip stitch or single crochet or half double crochet all the way across, but working this time in the back loop only. So when you take a look at the top of your stitches, you see this nice little V here. To work in the back loop only, you're going to insert your hook under that stitch only. So slip stitch, working in the back loop only, in each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of your row, chain one and turn your work. You're now going to repeat that row, so slip stitch in the back loop only all the way across. You're going to repeat that for as long as it takes for your brim to reach uh, approximately 16 to 17 inches. So that is without a stretch. So work until the work from the beginning measure 16 to 17 inches and then meet me back here and we will start the body of the hat. Okay. 
Once you have your 16 to 17 inches complete, and again that is not stretched, we're going to uh, sew our, our crochet our two ends together to make a circle. Now you can change the size of the brim to whatever size you would like and uh, in our next round uh, all you'll need is a multiple of two half double crochets. So I'll explain that once again once we get to it, but if you need to make your brim shorter or longer that is fine as well. So once you have the 16 inches done you're going to fold it over in half like so. You're then going to chain one, do not fasten off, and we're going to work a slip stitch seam all the way across working through both thicknesses. So I insert your hook under the back loop only of the first side and then over across in the corresponding stitch work in the back loop only of the other side yarn over pull through and slip stitch across so you're going to continue that all the way always make sure that you're working through that back loop only and that you're not skipping any stitches like so. When you come to the end, flip it so that it's right side out, so you'll have this fairly well hidden seam there, and you're going to chain one. We're now going to be working the body of our hat, and we're going to work along this rough edge up here. What you're going to do is you're going to work 50 half double crochet stitches all the way around. If you would like to change the size of your beanie, you can have any multiple of two stitches. Okay, so I'm going to today crochet 50 stitches. All you're doing is you're just finding a comfortable spot in the edge of your brim to insert your hook and work your half double crochet stitch. There's no uh, nice and easy places to put your hook so you're just trying to kind of guess it. I usually go down a couple stitches or a couple strands of yarn uh, so my half double crochets kind of reach deeply into my brim but it's up to you. If it helps to keep your stitches even all the way around I'd place a stitch marker about halfway around place 25 on one side and 25 on the other side. So go ahead and work 50 half double crochets and then meet me back here. Once you have your 50 half double crochets all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Do not turn your work. For round two, you're going to chain one. Now working in the third loop, half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. To find the third loop, if you look at your work, this is the front of your work. When you turn your work towards you, you're going to see on the back of your work two horizontal bars. You'll see the top, which is the top of your stitch, and then you'll see this bar here and back. This lower bar is your third loop. So you're going to be working under that loop only. So work a half double crochet into that third loop all the way around. I'll show you again on the next stitch. So this is the top of my stitch. Pull it forward. There's a bar here in the back. That's your third loop. You're going to do that all the way around and you'll see that as you work in the third loop all the way around, it's going to push the top of your stitch forward and give you this nice knit look just like so. So continue to do that all the way around when you come back to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch. Once you come around at the end of round two, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Chain one, do not turn your work. 
For round three, we're going to repeat round two, so working in that third loop, half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. At the end of your round three, join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. At the end of your round three, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. We're now going to start working some more of the heavy textured stitches for round four. So for round four, you're going to start by chaining one. You're now going to work a front post half double crochet around the same stitch as joining. So what I did when I worked mine, because you have this chain stitch here, I included that in the first stitch. So I'm going to work around the entire post, and it's going to be a front post half double crochet. To work the front post half double crochet, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook around the post of the same stitch, yarn over, and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's your front post half double crochet. Next you're going to half double crochet into the top of the next stitch. You're now going to repeat that all the way around. So around half double crochet, front post half double crochet around the post of your next stitch. and half double crochet in the next. Repeat, front post half double crochet around the post of the next stitch and half double crochet in the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch in your first stitch. At the end of the round four you're joining with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch, chain one, and do not turn your work. You're now going to essentially repeat that row, so working around the same stitch as joining, half front post half double crochet in the first stitch, and half double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Repeat front post half double crochet in the next stitch and half double crochet in the next. So repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round five, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round six, we're going to work in the third loop only once again. And uh, as you did back for rounds two and three, we're going to simply uh, work a half double crochet in the third loop all the way around. So yarn over, pull your work forward, pick up that third loop, and work a half double crochet. Do that all the way around and meet me uh, back here. At the end of round six, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For the next three rounds, you are now going to repeat rounds three, four, and five. So your round three was a half double crochet in the third loop all the way around. Your round four, the first of your front post half double crochet stitch round, and then round five, the repeat of that round. So go ahead, repeat rounds three, four, and five, and then meet me back here, and we will start the decrease of our hat top. 
At the end of round nine, this is what your work from the beginning should look like up to here. For round 10, we're going to work some half double crochets in the third loop. So you're going to, again, pull your loop forward, or your work forward, and you're going to half double crochet into each of the first three stitches. So in the third loop only, so half double crochet one, two, and three. Next, in the third loop, half double crochet two stitches together. So yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, three loops on your hook, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. That's your half double crochet two together. Now you're going to repeat. Work one half double crochet in the third loop of each of the next three stitches. And then half double crochet two together. And repeat. Repeat that all the way around, and when you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. At the end of round 10, join with a slip stitch in your first stitch. For round 11, you're going to chain one, working in the third loop only, half double crochet into each of the first two stitches and then half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around in the third loop half double crochet in each of the first or each of the next two stitches and half double crochet two stitches together. When you come back around, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. At the end of round 11, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and chain one. For round 12, we're going to essentially uh, repeat round four, so you've chained one. You're going to work a front post half double crochet around the same stitch as joining, and then half double crochet in the top of the next stitch. Repeat front post half double crochet around the post of the next stitch, and half double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Repeat all the way around and join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. At the end of round 12, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. For round 13, you're going to go back and repeat round 5, so chain 1, front post half double crochet around that first stitch, followed by a half double crochet into the top of the next stitch front post, half double crochet around the post of the next stitch, and half double crochet into the top of the next. Repeat all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 13, join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch and chain one. For round 14, we're going to be working in the third loop again. You're going to half double crochet into the first stitch in the third loop. Continue working in the third loop and half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat half double crochet in the next stitch and half double crochet two stitches together in the next. Repeat that all the way around 
and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. At the end of round 14, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. And chain 1. We're going to continue working in the third loop only for round 15. For round 15, you're going to half double crochet two stitches together all the way around. So working in the third loop, half double crochet, two stitches together all the way around. Join with the slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 15, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Chain one. We're going to work one more round just to bring the top of our hat closed a little bit more. And that's going to be half double crochet, two together, once again in the third loop, all the way around. So this is going to bring the opening of your hat to almost be closed. And then at that time you can join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off leaving a long tail. So at the end of your round 16, join with the slip stitch into the top of that first stitch, fasten off leaving a long tail. We're going to use this long tail to sew the top of our hat closed. So take a yarn needle thread the yarn through of your tail and I like to turn the hat inside out. So turn it out pull that long tail through. I'm going to sew the top of my hat closed. I simply weave my needle in and out around the top of the hat like so. And when I come back to the beginning I pull tight. Next, I fasten it here securely with a knot like so and then weave in my ends. So just kind of tuck your ends in there Once you feel it's fairly secure, you can take your scissors, fasten off, turn it right side out, and your beanie is finished. You can then add a pom-pom to the top if you would like. I think I have one over here or you can wear it as is. Both work great. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to crochet the Misty Beanie. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, check out some other videos there. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.